Caterpillar had been building farm equipment in the San Joaquin Valley since 1925. So in 1959, when they came out with their first truck engine, the 1693, all the western states were well aware of who Caterpillar was. The Cat 1693 was an immediate hit. It was strong, it was reliable, it was easy to work on, but probably the most notable thing about it was that it could put out over 400 horsepower, which was almost twice what the competition, what Cummins was putting out at the time. And everybody loved the power and the torque and everybody went for the Cat engines. This reputation the Cat was developing for stronger, more horsepower, more torque motors would last over the next 41 years. They progressed after the 1693 with the 3406 series and they were all strong engines and they just kept progressing that 3406. They went from the 3406 to the 3406B to the C to the 3406E and came out with a 3408 engine. An eight cylinder engine was just a monster of a motor. After the 3406 engines, they brought out the CAT C15 in 1999 and again, even stronger than the 3406. Now the C15 6NZ serial numbers were lauded to be the best CAT engines on the market and they were the pre-emissions engines and all the collectors wanted those motors because they were pre-log engines as well. So the, uh, the pre-emission C15s were a much sought after motor. In 2004, the EPA had begun emission standards on diesel engines and CAT brought out their MBN engine to try to meet the EPA standards. And basically it was a detuned 6NZ. The engine had slight changes and modifications, but it still was too much for the EPA standards to put out too much smoke and CAT was fined for this by the EPA. CAT paid it and carried on and kept trying to develop a cleaner engine. In 2005, CAT brought out the C15 ACERT motors and these were a twin turbo engine. They got really good fuel mileage, they were reliable. If there was one problem with them, it was the cost of replacing the twin turbo setup. But really, an ACERT, the early ACERT was a good motor. In 2007, however, CAT was forced to put DPF systems onto their ACERT motors and that's when the trouble began. As one mechanic put it to me, engines need to be able to breathe. They need to be able to inhale and exhale. With this new DPF system, the engines aren't able to exhale effectively. Because of the DPF systems, the engines started failing all over the place. CAT took this all in stride, covered all the work under warranty, and just kept progressing forward trying to beat the system. But in 2010, Caterpillar decided that they were going to throw in the towel. There was no defeating this DPF system and making the engine work properly the way it was designed to. So in 2010, CAT quit producing truck engines altogether. Cummins, of course, was thrilled when CAT bowed out. But all of CAT's customers were pretty disappointed. In 2023, Caterpillar announced that they were bringing out a C13D motor and truck owners held their breaths to see what this would develop into, but it turned out the C13D was simply an industrial motor. It was not meant for commercial use in trucks. And there you have it, the story of how the EPA destroyed the best truck engine on the market. Owner operators today that still own CAT engines just keep rebuilding them because they just don't want to buy anything else. They're that much better than anything else out there. I was one of those guys. I kept my old cap motor, my pre-emissions motor, and I've still got it today. Quick story about the cat engines from back in the day. The nice thing about the, the C15 and the 3406 was they had a marine version as well. And all sorts of guys would put marine parts in their truck engines. The Lettuce King had such an engine. And he claimed it was putting about 650 to the rear wheels, but I think it was way more than that. He could literally go coast to coast, grossing 80,000 pounds, and never drop a gear. It was awesome to watch. The thing just never slowed down. The hills never even affected it. Mind you, it smoked like a freight train, but it sure could pull. Stay safe, 
keep the rubber side down, and I'll see you on the backhoe.